more a deeper love than the art for people. Like, if I could help them, I would. Um, anyways, as we walked on through the years with God, you know, he, um, many times I've had to cry for the Lord. You know, I had two boys, but I had to have operations on my hands as I was growing up. And you know, I think every mother knows children is a weak spot. And you know, through all the years, uh, uh, I've been saved now, 27 years. And through all them years, God has never, ever let me down. Do you know, I often let God down. But you know, when, when I did stray, I always knew where to find him, you know. And um, about six, seven years ago now, I took really ill. And when I went to the hospital and done the test, I said, there's nothing we can do. Anyway, uh, it was, it was ca the cancer. And it rotted my spine and it done a lot of damage before they found out what it was. And I said, there's no chance. Anyway, because of my age and because I was a, a young girl, I said, we, we'll try all we can. And you know, the brothers and sisters started praying worldwide and thank you very much for all your prayers because I think most of you in here know me tonight. And anyways, They've done the operation, the operation after operation. I'd spend four, five months in the hospital at a time. And uh, in the end up, you know, they said, yeah, we bought her some time. I was in the wheelchair. There's nothing else we could do. And anyway, you know, the doctors used to think it was me. And they say, no, uh, you say you're amazing little woman. You say, no, I just serve an amazing God. Amen. Anyway, they left me in the wheelchair. And you know, I was good, he was happy, he was happy to be alive. I said, look, give me a whole new, you know, every morning I wake up now, every day is a brand new day, thank you Lord, you know. You don't take your days for granted. Well, anyways, um, they left me in the wheelchair. I've been active 